Laura here with Enrique Cruz Jr. Enrique, how are you? Uh, I'm wonderful. How are you doing? Oh, well, I got to see some of the uh, offensive line drills. Just what you could say about what the drills have been like here under Fran Brown. Oh, man. They've been competitive. They've been, uh, they've been tough. I mean, no more, no more none of that other stuff. I mean, it's just been very competitive, very tough drills, and um, honestly, really fun drills to do. You got some big guys that have come in. You see a lot of height, a lot of weight. I mean, this this team is looking different than last year, not just with the transfers coming in, but with people like yourself. What can you say about the strength and conditioning side of things and how that's changed for the better? Oh, the strength and conditioning is probably the best in the country. I mean, the guys who got in there, Coach JB, Coach Nick, Coach Smith, Coach Hicks, and even Coach Stacks, I mean, they're all amazing at what they do, and they really know what they're doing. It's night and day compared to what it used to be. I mean, I just... I feel a million times stronger, and um, they, they took a um, before and after photos. And I, I look like a freaking like a bus. Like, <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna say you look a lot different for the better. Just yeah. you know, being pushed. I also to shaved my beard. Yeah, <laughs> and so being pushed to to do something like that, you shaved your beard, cut your hair, yeah, and uh, put on some muscle here. So how would you describe the Enrique Cruz we're gonna see this season? It's a monster. And for you. And when we look at you mentioned coach hicks he's been around the program for a lot of years mm -hmm. but he was outside of the program then brought back in toward the end of dino's time and fran has him here with you in practice what can you say a guy like will hicks what does he do for someone like yourself i mean um coach hicks is really the heart and soul of the program i mean he brings all the tradition to us he's been here for such a long time he knows all the traditions he knows a lot of old players i mean we had the opportunity to meet um the white freeney who just got in the Hall of Fame because of him. Coach Six also at the ceremony, if you guys saw, but you know, he's really just the heart and soul of the program, and you know, it just means a lot to someone like me that I could really just talk to him, and he would tell me stories about the old days, or he was just um, working out-wise. He, he's just a, a good hype man and a very great coach in general, so I, I just feel like it's just, for everybody, it's just an amazing opportunity to work with somebody like him. Fran's been welcoming the alumni back. You said you got to meet Dwight Freeney, yeah. a, a Hall of Famer in college, a Hall of Famer now professionally. Mm -hmm. What was that experience like with Dwight? It was cool. I mean, he, he said a whole speech in front of us. We, all, uh, we also met um, Donovan McNabb and stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's all been, you don't even know who's going to come through the door sometimes. So it's pretty amazing. Has there any been any, like, special takeaways from McNabb or Freeney that stuck with you? Um, I mean, so I also, I did a shout out to my other interview. I did an interview, interview with McNabb. You guys go watch that. But, um. <laughs> Basically, just you know, just hard work and just dedication and stuff, and just keep on going. I mean, the white friend they tell stories about how he used to work so hard that at the end of the practice he wouldn't be able to move. So and you then, said you got to do something with Donovan McNabb, though. What'd you get to do? You got to interview him. Yeah, I got to interview uh, Donovan McNabb. What was that like for you? It, it was amazing. You know, a fellow person from Chicago. You know, it, it was pretty cool. You know, we talked. You know, we had to talk about the food. And what did you tell him about the food? Did you guys agree on anything? Or? Oh, we, we agreed on everything actually. Okay. He's from the South Side. And he's a Cubs fan as well. He agrees we have the best food, and he wants to actually start his own food show. And I told him, um, let me be a guest on the show. That's awesome. Darrell Smith, who actually played for Syracuse, has his own I food met him show as well, too. He did. He makes some really good meatballs. Yeah. Uh, no, I met him when I was in California. He's, he's really cool. So for you uh, to come off the field and your game for a second, your little brother yeah. has gotten bigger, yeah, he's stronger, huge. faster. Uh, what's, what's it like to watch him grow? Uh, you know, it's truly really amazing. You know, uh, me and my little brother, we've been through everything together. I mean, she's been wearing my clothes since, like, sixth grade. <laughs> so, you know, it's just amazing. You know, I'm just, I, I want to help him any way that I can. This offensive line is a mashup of guys that have transferred in, guys that are trying to come through as, as young players and veterans like yourself. How would you describe the, how the offensive line is molding together those pieces? Oh, it's molding, it's molding together beautifully. You know, we're all, we all hang out on stuff and, you know, we understand it's a competition and, you know, uh, we do what we have to do. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're all teammates. Kyle McCord as the quarterback. Mm -hmm. What can you say about Six and what it's like to work with him? Oh, amazing quarterback. The stuff he does is crazy. I mean, he's got to see him play. He's really, really good. What is it about his game that's unique to this offense now? I mean, it's everything. I mean, it's just his arm. I would prefer, I mean, he's very uh, intelligent as well when it comes to football. It's really, really good. And you have uh, Michael Johnson Sr. who's yep. uh, back here, but Jeff Nixon who came in, they're both working as offensive coordinators. Yeah. What are you taking from their leadership and this new offense? Oh, uh, I mean, everything. I mean, it's, it's like, it's, uh, <coughs> 
everything. You know, we run a lot of different type of plays now, and all this. Stuff, and um, they really know how to game plan against um, other teams, even defenses. I mean, the, um, it's really like a Madden playbook at this point. I now, from what they have taught me and stuff like that, I could play Madden. But oh, we have this player, like we, you know, what I mean, so it's pretty cool. You talk about the Madden playbook. I mean, Jeff Nixon comes from the NFL. Yeah. Do you feel, I mean, Trevor Pena was talking about the fact that this seems like an NFL offense. Would you agree? Yeah, 100% agree. What is it about this offense that's pushed you the most? Like, personally, what what about this new offense has made you better? Um, honestly, just the whole part of the offense. Just, um, when it comes, when um, learning the offense, when it came to an offense, I also had to learn about defenses. I also had to learn about different things about the game so I could fully understand the offense. LaQuint Allen back on this team, 1,000-yard yep. back, yep. got some help with some guys like yep. S.N. Willis and some of the other guys and Nixon. And what can you say about the backfield that's going to be running behind you guys? Fire. I mean, the backfield is truly – they're they're really good, all of them. What is it – to go back to the offensive line, some of the new guys that have come in, coaches mentioned some guys. Is there anybody that sticks out to you of the new faces? Honestly, all of them. So, all really, really good. What is it about the like to kind of break down the offensive line? How is it better? Where is it better than last year? Um, well, besides the play calling, we all understand football 100 percent more than we did uh, in the previous years. So you said it, the understanding, the knowledge, and the wisdom. Where does that come from? Is that from just the way that Coach Nixon and Coach Johnson break it yeah, down? It's just, is it's it the your way position that we coach? The plays and stuff. Yeah. So for you. Are we left tackle still? Are you kind of all over the place? Where are you at? Both, left and right. Left and right. Do you have a preference? Nah, nah. I, I can play both. And like you said, every one of the new faces has kind of pushed you. Is there anyone that you have like the best back and forth with when you're doing offensive line drills? Uh, what do you mean by that? Just like the person that pushes you the most, the person that maybe just trash talks with you the most, like you have the most fun with. I have the most fun with. Yeah. Uh, for me and my boy Savion, we do offensive line. Joe's always fun. Probably uh, besides Savion, my boy Joe Cruz. Okay. And Joe Cruz and Enrique Cruz, you guys ever mess around about that? <laughs> yeah, that's my son. <laughs> I, I was fun. How's Joe Cruz gotten better? Oh, he's, he's gotten 100% better. He's a force. He's really good. And then you mentioned Savion. Fran Brown mentioned Savion. What does he bring into this offensive line personally? Um, I mean, um, a great question probably experience and getting him later on is he kind of one of those diamond I don't want to call it a diamond in the rough but is it one of those kind of like late game shots so to speak the fact that he came in later on to this team is that one of those like extra pieces that you think can push you over the hump in some games yeah mm -hmm. and what do you want to tell Syracuse fans as we step into 2024 hey, come to the games you know, it's been a great season for us and uh, go to Syracuse tailgate.